Hi, it's Dave T here, and if, like me, you have struggled putting an awning, particularly an air awning, onto a caravan because there's one of these things stuck right in the way of the awning rail, stopping particularly the pole sections going past, then this video may be for you because I'm going to see if I can try and find a way of making it easier to get past these little buggers. So while that's drying, if you hadn't already guessed, the idea behind this is to basically make a ramp that sits around the existing light. Now what I don't want to do is actually use the light to support the ramp because that could actually just make the situation worse where you're putting actually even more, more weight on that light fitting. So instead, you may have wondered what the two pieces of cloth inset were and they're actually to use with the, hold on one second, they're actually to use with these. Now these are from Camper and they're the limpet system and basically they're for doing things like uh, the flappy edge of your awning, there's a hole in that, you can push this through, clamp it and they're just exactly like a kind of sat nav or mobile phone hold holder where it's got a suction cup that basically sucks against anything that's smooth. So you can stick it to a surf hard surface which of course is exactly what is around the light fitting on the caravan. So the idea is there's going to be two holes I'm going to make in those pieces of cloth. The cloth's obviously attached to the actual, I'm going to call it a ramp, and then in theory you should be able to push this against this side of the van. That's why I pushed them down when setting the glue with those uh, just spare discs we cut out. So they're set down so we should be able to then push them against the side of the van to make contact, clamp them to actually get suction and that should in theory hold the entire contraption in place and then of course as the awning runs up to it it should sort of glide over and certainly not ram hard into the side of the light fitting so that's the theory gonna have to wait for the glue to dry on this now tidy it up a little bit probably give it a lick of paint and then it's time to test it One 
come on. I won, I'm just wanting it. Okay, so it has to be said that that actually worked far better than I thought it was going to. And I half expected that the ramp itself was gonna be chucked in the bin and this video would never see the light of day. But as it happened, it does actually work. Um, is it worth the trouble? Possibly, possibly not. <laughs> um, but certainly for us, we've knocked the cap of the light off several times with the awning. And if that happens, you don't realize it, then underneath that, obviously you've got the light and the actual electrical fitting for the light. And if that gets pulled off or, or damaged in some way, that's far more serious. So by doing this, you can basically clamp it on there. The awning doesn't get stuck. So for a start, you don't have to dive underneath. We didn't dive underneath once. Well, we did once to get the shot of actually what was happening inside, but we didn't need to actually go underneath the awning as it was going across it, which is what you normally have to do to try and kind of ease it across the light. So from that point of view, um, it's almost kind of fire and forget, attach it and forget. So um, it made it a lot easier to get the awning slid on past that um, slid on past the light. So I hope you found that video um, interesting or entertaining or even useful. And if you did, then do hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing other videos I make, then please consider subscribing to the channel. But most of all, thanks for watching.